I'm Timothy Snyder. It's August of 2021, and I'm making a series of short films about my, my book on tyranny, 20 Lessons from the 20th Century. I'm revisiting this book because it's been almost five years since I wrote it. A lot of the things that I wrote about, unfortunately, became reality. A lot of the tendencies that I warned against are unfortunately still with us. And with the help of the fantastic artist Nora Krug, we've produced a new version of the book with some updated text. Um, most importantly, with art, which I think makes the book deeper, not just accessible, but more deeper and more and more interesting, at least for me, and I hope also for you. So thanks to this work with Nora, I've been revisiting the lessons of the book, and each of these films is, is an occasion for me to say a word about where the lesson came from and how the lesson will matter in the 2020s and moving into the future. This is uh, number 19, lesson number 19 of On Tyranny. Lesson 19 is be a patriot. It's very short and simple. Takes just a second to read. Be a patriot. Set a good example of what America means for the generations to come. They will need it. Now, as those of you who have read the book will know, in each, in each lesson, in each chapter, I have a, a lesson and then I have an explanation, the, the history that stands behind the lesson, the actions that are recommended by the lesson. In this lesson, lesson number 19, I try to make a distinction between a patriot and a nationalist, where a nationalist defends what is about his or her country, uh, whereas a patriot is someone who wants the best for his or her country, who wants his or her country to, to live up to the ideals that the country is supposed to live up to. And this is actually a very, very important distinction. Because if you defend whatever happens, whatever is, you're also defending decline. If you defend whatever people do in the name of America as normal, then you're participating in that decline. A patriot is someone who recognizes that values are real that democracy cannot function without values, that our country isn't just what it is or seems to be, our country is also what it might be and what it should be. So patriotism is a value. It's the value which says we should defend other values. We should realize what is at stake. So looking forward into the 2020s, what is at stake? I think perhaps most fundamentally what's at stake is the right of Americans to vote for their elected representatives. This, this, it would seem, would be a very simple American patriot, patriotic value. We all, or at least most of us, think that we live in a democracy or should live in a democracy. Democracy means the people rule. And for the people to rule, their votes have to count. Their, their votes have to be possible and their votes have to count. So a basic patriotic value in this country, in the United States, and of course not only, is, is the right to vote. Um, what's at stake is that that right to vote is being taken away from a lot of our fellow Americans. And insofar as we don't recognize that Native Americans and Latinos and above all African Americans are going to have a harder time voting in 2022 and 2024 than they did in 2020. If we don't recognize that, if we don't do something about it, then we are taking part in it. Then we are, then we are part of the problem. If we just say, oh, America is a democracy no matter what, then we're nationalists. If we're patriots, we recognize that there is a right to vote, that it's unacceptable to make it harder for people to vote, that our values are only realized when we make it possible for people to vote. What is at stake is whether or not we will have elections that really count as elections in 2024. Because unfortunately, if we allow voter suppression to proceed, a couple of things will happen. One thing that will happen is that people whose votes are suppressed will be upset, and understandably. And if they are upset and they do something, then the people who have suppressed their votes will use their reaction against them, um, will try to start a culture war and try to change the whole subject of our politics away from democracy and representation and policy towards polarization and racial hatred and spectacle. 
more specifically, the way this can go in 2024 is that if, um, if states take over the right to count votes and if states take state legislatures take over the right to, to determine how electoral votes are going to be allocated, we could very well have the scenario of 2021 actually realized in 2025. That is to say, a presidential candidate who loses not only the popular vote, but also the electoral college vote could nevertheless be named president of the United States. Now, that's the kind of thing which, as an American patriot, I would very much not like to see happen. That's the kind of thing which would go against the values that, that patriots would stand for. But if we are just nationalists, if we defend whatever happens, that I'm afraid is the path of least resistance. If we want to prevent something like this, we have to, we have to be for values and we have to act to make sure this specific thing doesn't happen. So to, to sum it up, being a patriot is not about just what is. It's not about resting on your laurels or talking about how great you are or saying the institutions are good or, or, or praising your own constitution. Being a patriot is not about what is. Being a patriot is about what could be and what should be. Because frankly, what is is not good enough. Um, American patriots are going to have to demand and act in such a way that we live not just in what we call a democracy, but what really is a democracy. That was lesson number 19. Thank you.